This is a quick video to show how to use the virtual classroom. So I have this unit here uh, with a virtual classroom in it here called Test 2. If I click on Test 2, I'll get some information about that meeting. So it's starting currently. It's going to last an hour. It'll give you some information about um, allowing um, access to your webcam and microphone. So your computer will probably give you a pop-up box saying that uh, it wants to access those things and, and for you to share them. So once you give permission, you'll be able to enter the meeting room. So you can do that by clicking on the blue button down here. And once you're in the meeting room, you'll see something that looks more or less like this. It's going to ask you uh, if you want to join as a uh, just a listener or a, an active participant where you can use your microphone. Probably in a classroom situation, we will want to use a microphone. It's asking me to allow my microphone, so I'm going to do that. Then it's going to do a test. You are currently the only person in this conference. Asking if you can hear yourself. We choose yes there. And then once you join the meeting, it looks like this. So a plain whiteboard to start. Uh, the button down here for video is here. I'll just show you how to turn it on. Um, so to click on that, I can then share my webcam. Again, it's probably going to ask me to allow that. I'll do that. My camera will show up here. The whiteboard space will show up here. I'm just going to turn the camera off for now just because uh, it's taxing my computer to be recording a video of a recording. So I'll turn the video off, unshare the camera. Oh, and I should mention, sorry, I'll go back here, is that once the video is shared, you have the option of swapping what is large on your screen. So if I choose swap, uh, it will give me a large video and a small picture of the whiteboard that was there. So that's an option as well. We'll just swap those back and then maybe I'll unshare my camera. Down here you see a uh, the blue uh, microphone button. You have you the option muted. of muting yourself. So you can mute yourself. You are now unmuted. You know, if there's lots of noise in the background or uh, you know, it's not your turn to speak or you're not going to be saying anything, you can press that mute button and go from there. I also, as the organizer of the meeting, have the option to mute everybody. So on this plus button that appears over here, I can choose mute all that. That will mute everybody except for myself. I can also do a poll and upload a presentation here. The whiteboard can be shared between all participants. So I can actually make the whiteboard available just by clicking on this button here. Uh, if it's on multi-user mode, that means that I can draw on the whiteboard or locate myself on the whiteboard, and others can as well. In order to draw on the whiteboard, you click on this Tools button here, click on the pencil, and then you can start drawing uh, and, and asking questions and that sort of thing. And again, if it's in multi-user mode, others can start drawing and annotating on the screen as well. I can add uh, multiple slides and just keep advancing through those slides, jump to different slides in the presentation at any time. We can turn on the chat mode, so the chat is located up here. This is a text-based chat, so if I'm presenting and people have questions or whatever, they can type those questions into the chat. You can also see a list of participants who's here. We'll just toggle that so we don't see it. And then I think the last uh, couple of things. This, this presentation, this particular uh, classroom is not being recorded, but we can actually click on the record button, in which case the recording will be made available after uh, the presentation is finished. If we click on these three dots here, this is where we can leave the meeting. So I can just click leave meeting. And if I am the organizer of the meeting, I can end the meeting as well. Um, so that's a quick tour of the virtual classroom. I'm going to end this meeting and just give you an indication of what happens here. Ask me if I'm sure I want to end the meeting. If I go back into my course, um, it, if I had recorded that, in some time after sometime after the presentation, it does take a little bit of time, but that recording will be available in the class. So that the recording has to be processed and it will be available in the class. To see it, uh, you just click on where the virtual classroom was. This is an old one that I did uh, and it is available and it will load the entire presentation of the recording right here. So the video will appear here, the screen sharing appears, the chat appears. You can see that everything kind of appears here. So it's nice and easy for anybody who couldn't actually attend the presentation to see what was going on. So quick tour of virtual classroom and uh, it looks like a really powerful tool.